Article 12. Move that the town adopt Mass General Law Chapter 40, Section 22F, which allows municipal boards or officers to set reasonable permit and license fees without a town meeting vote. Um, could you please stay in your seats? Do I have a motion? Do I have a second? Select one and chunk vote. Um, the town needs to adjust their permit fees in order to keep up with rising costs and market conditions. Each time fees need to be adjusted, town meeting must vote on the adjustment. As a, as a space and time saver, the town may wish to adopt MGL Chapter 40, Section 22F, which allows municipal boards or officers to set reasonable permit and license fees without a town meeting. Um, so if you pass this one, we can skip over 13. All right, move the question. Move the question. Edwin. Um, the first, uh, first thing that comes to mind is how often do the fees need to be adjusted and is it that big a deal that we don't have a say in it? I personally feel that uh, we as citizens, we have a unique opportunity here at town meeting to voice our opinions and we're losing some of our some of our voice by allowing other people to say well we don't want we don't want to listen to you anymore so you're talking about permits you're talking about fees they change what every 5 years and so what you're saying is you don't want to listen to the town's people no <laughs> not exactly but if it, if it doesn't matter that we're just adjusting some minor fees throughout the town, it's just easier if we didn't. It would be one less thing that you would have to vote on. And it wouldn't be any, make any big difference. It's just keeping in the market value with everybody else around us and keeping us um, uh, within the realm of what everybody else is doing and it would give us an increase in our revenue. I understand the necessity of raising the fees. What I don't agree with is you're taking something away from me that I have a say. That's all I'm saying. I don't have a problem with raising the fees. I don't think that we, uh, they're going to be, we're going to need to change the fees tomorrow. These are things that they don't change every two or three years. Why don't you want town meeting to vote on it? That's well, that's that's my whole point. Yeah. Point well taken. Dan, were you going to speak to this article? You're good. That's it. Anybody else? Hearing none. All in favor of the motion, signify with your red card. All opposed. Motion passes. So we get to skip over the next one? So we're gonna we're gonna pass over Article 13. We're going to Article 16 because 14 and 15 were part of our consent agenda. Article 16, Gooseberry Lane. The motion reads, move that the town accept Gooseberry Lane as a public way as delineated in Article 16 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant for October 27, 2016 and incorporated by references herein. Selectman Waskevitz will speak to this article. Uh, this article uh, begins process of accepting Gooseberry Lane as a public way and it is a continuation of the town's plan to address the number of par private ways that we have right now uh, similar to what we did with Holly Road and Laurel Drive yes it is. 
Uh, the planning board has advised that the private way is ready for town meeting action. You didn't vote on that, John. Uh, the DPW has advised that there is deficiencies in the road amounting to a few thousand dollars of work, crack ceiling, and repair of a water valve on a service connection for one of the houses. At this time, it's around $3,000, I believe. Um, so that's what we're voting on right now. Uh, the taxpayers. No, John. Okay, but the other half's coming out of DPW and the taxes. So. Yeah, $1,500 from the owner of the property and 1500 from the taxpayers or DPW. Got any other questions, John? You want to speak to it? Come on up. We'll come on up. Let's get this show on our own. Here's a developer. Builds a, builds a uh, subdivision to make money. Now he's asking the taxpayers to pay for what he should be paying. That road should be accepted by the DPW complete, not incomplete, and not make the incompletion on a taxpayer's back. So I would urge you to vote no. This message is going to be, be sent loud and clear. We don't pay for other people's profits. Well, John, you're a little bit wrong on that because it was built to the town of Hadley specifications. The uh, two issues that are on there right now that uh, are conflicting the, the road is a water service which was installed correctly originally and the road was tarred and paved and the drainage was all done properly and it has cracked up since they built it. And this is just something that we haven't accepted. And all the taxpayers are paying taxes on that road. They've got water over there. They've got, uh, they get the road snow plowed. They get all the services. They're paying the taxes on it. We should accept this road. I disagree with Mr. Wyskiewicz. The owner, Berkeley Builders, owns the road. The town owns it when they accept it. We didn't accept it. So let him fix it to our standard, then we accept it. That's the way it's supposed to be. Gene Baxter, Stockwell Road. I'd like to know why the selectmen recommend against it. Don oh, did they change will give a new voice. <laughs> what? Well, the new voice. I met with Mr. Burkham less than a week and a half ago, and he said he wasn't contacted. So I made arrangements with the town administrator and our highway superintendent to speak to him to try to resolve the situation. So they did speak, and that plan they came up with was to pay half and half, and he's willing to write a check tomorrow for it and eliminate the problem and move along. Just to respond to the question, originally when the select board took the vote, um, we voted against it because at that point we didn't have any sort of an arrangement with Mr. Berkium. So subsequent to the original vote taking place, the new information came to us tonight that there was a, an arrangement um, negotiated by our DPW director. And su subsequent to that, we did vote 5-0 in favor of this article. Okay. Any other discussion? Questions? Comments? Hearing none. All in favor of Article 16, motion for Article 16, raise your red, red card. What are we doing? So we're doing? All in favor? Yeah, well, that's the deal. Is that up or down, Joe? That thing's kind of in the middle. <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, thank you. All opposed?
Motion passes 80 to 21. Article 17 is the start of our CPA articles. It's for the Lake Warner Dam. The motion reads, move that the town amend the vote taken on Article 24 on the May 1st, 2014 annual town meeting, extending the deadline for the Kestrel Trust to utilize Community Preservation Act funds for the restoration and preservation of the Lake Warner Dam from December 31st 2016 to December 31st, 2017. Do I have a motion? I have a second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? Is there anyone from the Kessel Trust here? Right there, Edwin. Okay. Excuse me, before you speak, you're not a resident of the town, so we have to ask the taxpayers if, if they'll allow you to speak at the meeting. All in favor, raise your Okay, go ahead. Wonderful, thank you. Um, hello, Town of Hadley. My name is Kat Dealey. I'm the Community Conservation Manager for Kestrel Land Trust, and I'm here to answer any questions you might have. Um, just to, um, I guess, reiterate or emphasize the fact that um, this is an article that um, we are just asking for an extension of time. Um, we are not asking for any further funds. Uh, the funds have already been allocated from the town of Hadley very generously. We appreciate your support in getting this project done, and we have all confidence that uh, we will be done with this project next year. Um, we are we were slightly delayed with some state funds coming through, but um, we expect those coming through very soon. We're waiting for the official announcement. Thank you. Is there any questions? It's pretty self-explanatory for giving them another year. Any? All in favor, signify. Opposed? One. Motion passes. Two? Okay, John. Article 18. Is another CPA article. Motion reads, move that the town transfer $7,375 from the Community Preservation Act Open Space Fund and $7,625 from the Community Preservation Act General Fund for design services associated in recreational purposes to restore and re rehabilitate the property known as Hopkins Academy playing fields. Accessors map 11A, lots one and two. Do I have a motion? Do I have a second? Uh, Community Preservation Act recommends this seven to zero with two abstentions. Finance Committee recommends four zero. Hold that thought, we have one. Dan Dukevitz. Yes, Dan Dukevitz, 130 Hockenham Road. I just got a question. Is this going to allow uh, other activities at, at these fields except, you know, not just Hopkins Academy? Could it be just Little League or Boy Scouts or whatever? Yes. Yes, it will. Okay. Full community use. Can you go to the microphone? No. <laughs> Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, raise your red card. Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. We're at 19. These are planning board articles, so they will require two thirds. Article 19, where's my motion? quite lengthy, but it's purely language. Move the town, amend zoning bylaw of the code of the town of Hadley as delineated in Article 19 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant for October 27, 2016, incorporated by the references herein. Uh, Jim Maximowski from the Planning Board will be here to talk about the changes. Do I hear a motion? 
In a second. Here you go, Jim. Thank you. Jim Max, Monarchy Planning Board. The Planning Board recommends acceptance of this Article 401. This should look familiar to you because it's about the third time you've seen it. In the past, we've had little minor typographical errors. And Article 19, mostly the table is on the next page. And the reason it's split like that is because when a table is split between two pages, it's very unreadable. All this does is the original zoning bylaw that was passed or accepted, if you would, in about 1961, had table 4.1 and 4.2 and the planning board could not give you a real good reason why there was two tables because over the course of the years those two tables have kind of morphed into no difference and so we're finally just putting them into one combining them into one table four and it's really there's no changes to anything just combining the two and getting rid of some confusion Questions, concerns, none. What's that? All in favor? Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article 20. Move the town, amend the zoning bylaws of the code of the town of Hadley as delineated in Article 20 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant for October 27, 2016, and incorporated by the references herein. Jim Maximowski, Planning Board. I move the motion. Second. All in favor. <laughs> Go ahead. Any, any questions? The planning board recommend this article 401 absent. The next 20, 21, and 22 are all going to have almost exactly the same explanation. When these articles were accepted at town meeting um, anywhere from 8 to 13 years ago, we were in getting into uncharted territory. To do that, because we, weren't, we were concerned, the planning board is concerned what the effect may be and how people may apply them, we put renewal applications in there so that between every one to two to three to five years the applicants would have to come back and renew the special permits to make sure they were complying with the bylaw. Well up to 13 years have passed some applicants have come back for renewals some have not however we have had virtually no complaints on any one of the special permits that we've issued so with that said it's become an inconvenience for the applicants to come back and confusion besides. So now it'll be approved once and then it'll be up to the zoning enforcement officer if there are complaints to enforce the complaints. Edward, Edward Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. Um, have, have there been any, uh, so there, there haven't been any problems and you're confident that the zoning enforcement officer will be able to handle everything? Between the three articles that we are going to be amending, there has been one complaint that was a minor complaint, and it was actually addressed before it got back to the planning board for the renewal. So, um, yes, we're confident that the zoning enforcement officer can enforce it um, because of history. He would have been the one dissenting vote, but he's gone home. All in favor, move Article 20. Opposed. Article, motion for Article 20 passes unanimously. 21. Move the town amend the zoning bylaws of the Code of the Town of Hadley as delineated in Article 21 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant for October 27, 2016, and incorporated by the references herein. We have a motion. Second. Moved and seconded. Jim Maximowski, Planning Board. Planning Board recommends this 401 absent, and the explanation's already been told to you why. You got a question? All in favor, signify. Thank you. Opposed? 
Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. On to number 22. Move the town, amend the zoning bylaws of the code of the town of Hadley as delineated in Article 22 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant for October 27, 2016, and incorporated by references herein. Do I have a motion? Second. Planning Board recommends that again, 401 absent in the explanation you've heard. All in favor? Opposed? Passes unanimously. At this time, I would like to thank everyone who came tonight and we got through this. It was much needed. The select board and the people that run this town appreciate it. Thank you and good night. The meeting is adjourned.